I'm going to show you another way to do a jogless stripe. They both work the same. One might be easier than the other for you. You add your new color the same as you did the last time, the regular way, and when you're ready to start the next row, you slide the marker over like I've already done. And then instead of slipping the stitch, like I showed you the last time, you're going to leave that stitch on and you're going to pull up the stitch below the first and put it on the needle like so and then you're just going to knit those two stitches together and then you're going to continue knitting all the way around and that's all there is to it. I'm going to show you that process even though this isn't where you would be doing it. You take the stitch below the stitch that you're going to knit, put it on the needle, and then knit it off. Now I'm not going to do that because it's not the beginning of the row, but that's how you do it. You take that stitch, put it on the needle, knit both stitches together. And that pulls the stitch up so that it takes away the possibility of having a jog. And you keep doing that all the way and unfortunately, just like in the other method, it only works for rows of two or more. So that's method two, jogless stripe.